Two weeks have passed since the Boston Marathon bombing and Purdue police are still learning from the incident. However, the emergency preparedness and planning group is constantly preparing for the safety of all people on campus. Whether it's Boilermaker football, the Purdue Grand Prix, or finals week on campus, the emergency preparedness and planning group with Purdue Police is always planning for worst case scenarios. We basically look at, at, at everything that might happen uh, in hopes that we can plan for it and, and, and then I guess um, the greater objective would be for them not to happen, obviously. The director of the emergency preparedness and planning group, Ron Wright, says they work to keep all venues safe for each event that happens on campus. Any kind of major event that occurs on, on, at, at Purdue uh, will develop what we call an event action plan, which basically gets all public safety uh, on the same sheet of music. <laughs> the Boston Marathon bombings was one event nationally that Wright says they look at and say what if. That was such a, a, a tragic situation. We're still talking about it. Actually right after we got our public safety folks together and, and, and discussed how we would react to something like that. Wright says they tell new freshmen at Boiler Gold Rush whether it's a severe weather event or an active shooter, they'll sound their sirens. He says if you hear that, get inside and keep looking for new information. That activation would, would tell folks they need to go inside uh, continue uh, looking for more information. That more information would be coming out on the other layers of Purdue Alert. We have email, we have text messaging. Uh, we'll be posting information on the home page. And Wright says the group works constantly with emergency preparedness groups at other universities across the country to help keep people safe.